Welcome back. I am Mr. JDM and in today's video we're going to work on my wife's 2006 Honda CRV. The uh, condenser fan is bad. While we were on vacation in the stop and go traffic, the car started to overheat a little bit. And originally I thought it was the radiator fan that was bad because on pretty much every 88 through I guess 2000, I don't know after 2000, but 88 to 2000 Hondas, the condenser fan is on the driver's side and the cooling fan is on, or the radiator fan is on the passenger side. But apparently on the 2006 or I don't know, 2001 and newer, I maybe, but definitely on the 2006 Honda CRV, it's completely backward or it has been swapped. The driver's side is the cooling fan and the passenger side is the condenser fan. My guess is the reason why the car was overheating, the cooling fan was the only one working and it was drawing air through the condenser but it wasn't cooling enough and the condenser puts off some heat. So there was some heat transfer into the radiator and it just overheated. I mean it didn't overheat. The temperature rose higher than it should be and plus it was like I don't know 90 100 degrees on the road and we were in stop and go traffic on the highway so anyway let's uh get to it and start replacing the fans i had already bought the uh radiator fan but again the radiator fan is not what's bad it's the condenser fan so i had to go back and buy a condenser fan and i just went ahead and kept the radiator fan just because you know if the condenser fan is going bad or is bad the radiator fan it's you know the same age and it, it's on its way out or it's not going to be far behind so I want to go ahead and replace them both so that's what we're gonna do all right so I've already removed the plastic cover that goes over here this thing and you had one 10 mil that goes right there and then I disconnected the electrical plug which is right there and the other electrical plug which is right here now we need to get I probably need to remove this bracket I don't know maybe not but now we need to remove these two bolts this one right here that one and then there's one right there that will get all the fan bolts removed or fasteners they're a little rusty so i'm gonna spray some wd-40 on them or i like pb blaster All right, we got all of or both of our fans disconnected. We got that one and we got that one. Now we just need to figure out how to get them out. Looks like it might be a pain in the butt because there's a lot of stuff going on up here. So let me work out a game plan and we'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and removed the, uh, the coolant overflow and I think I might have to remove this section of the T-bar. Now I know there is a bolt down at the bottom down here which will suck to even get to. So I'm going to try to just unscrew these and push it back and maybe we can slide the fans up and out. All right, we're also gonna have to remove these, that one there, and then one on the other side. All right, and it looks like there's another bolt underneath here. It's underneath this bracket that holds the front grill. There's one there. And on the opposite side, one there. All 
all right and there's our fan now getting to the other fan is going to be a lot more difficult all right so i took this little cover off it goes down here and i guess it directs air into the the intake thing right there it's just two phillips head screwdriver or screws one here and one over here and now i think i'm going to remove this or at least loosen it you got two 10 mils back here Look at this, same thing happened. The little pin thing broke off. Well, it's a dual last. It's got a lifetime warranty. All right, so I'm having a real difficult time getting this radiator fan out. Um, I think I'm gonna do, since I can reach down there, I'm going to remove the center T-bracket bolt. It's like, right there but it's on the front side that way i can raise this and or move it around a lot better all right so you see that thing that big that round cylinder thing that is like right in the way of getting that bottom bolt on the the front t-bracket or a t-bar whatever this thing's called and i don't want to remove the radiator hose but it looks like i'm gonna have to because if i remove that i should just be able to slide it right out so I think that's my only option at this point. I was trying to lift it and slide it over this direction, but I can't. It just will not slide over. And I think I picked the worst day to do this because it's literally 100 degrees outside. All right, so I can't get to the bottom bolt without removing a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna try to manhandle it. I'm going to lift this side up, pop it out, and then come over here and do the same to this side. That way we have a little bit of play. Hopefully it works out. All right, we got it moved up on both sides. And yeah, I realize I'm probably doing this the most jankiest way, but now I think I can probably slide the radiator fan over. I might need to remove or disconnect this. But I think I got enough clearance to get the fan out. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this wire out of the way. Alright, and I just cut it. I know that's not the most legit way, but... Now that I have this moved back, I can't get to the back of it. So I still can't get it to slide. I mean, I could probably, if I mess with it long enough, I could get it. But I'm just going to remove the upper radiator hose. Not a big deal. I'm just going to add more fluid into it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so once I took the hose off, it just came out pretty easily. Yeah, this is probably the jankiest video I've ever made. and But you know what? I'm getting it done. Probably not the best way, but it's getting done. And that's all that matters. All right, uh, this guy should just slide right back in. And then we can do the other side. All right, we got our fan in there. A couple uh, bloody knuckles later and it's in there. Let's get the uh, condenser fan. And again, this thing's sealed in here really well. I am shocked that it's just not thrown in the box. Let's cut it open and install it. 
this one is like sealed around the wiring i'm not a big fan of that oh well i'm gonna get chopping all right and again we should just be able to slide the fan back down in there all right and it seems like the fitment on the fans is perfect i'm gonna zip tie this wire back down in there and then we can start screwing everything back together we got our fans fastened back down we've got the connectors back on the electrical connectors and the only thing left is to get all the brackets back on there and i bent the radiator brackets to remove those just because there's a bolt down there you can see it right there and i didn't want to try to pull the grill off to get to it you know i'm gonna admit i did this the most jankiest way ever but it's hot as fuck and i was over this job before i even started so uh, yeah so that's that but i'm gonna bolt everything back together and we're gonna test it out and hopefully that's it okay we are about to start her up uh. everything kicks on fine the AC cools down immediately let's check the fans both both fans are running and yes I did top off the uh, antifreeze and I had it more power steering fluid but i think i added way too much all right well i would say that's a success even though i did it the most jankiest way possible but hey i got the job done and nothing's broke everything's bolted back and i don't have any extra parts so that is a win in my book all right everything's good uh, i always wondered if you added like a third fan to like the outside of the condenser and if that would make the ac even colder that might be something that i might do on the red wagon just stick a fan right there all right uh so we are done and everything seems to be working okay the ac gets uh cold pretty much instantly I did do like the jankiest job ever. Um, if it was somebody else's car, I wouldn't have done it this way. But it's, you know, it's my car. And, you know, I got the job done. All the bolts went back into place. Nothing was bent. Nothing was broke. I don't have any extra bolts. And so that's a win in my book. And it is the absolute hottest day of the year, it seems like. It's like 98 degrees. And I... I'm assuming that with the heat index, it's over 100, well over 100 degrees. And I'm just, I'm done. I mean, look at my shirt. It's soaking wet. I've drank like probably 12 bottles of water and I'm still just sweating profusely. So, uh, I'm going to go take a shower and I'm done for the day. I'm just going to chill, maybe edit this video, and get some dinner. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next video.